Good morning, fishing family and friends. It's time for another fishing adventure. First time coming back to one of my favorite streams this year. Uh, the current is flowing. This is definitely the strongest flow that I've seen it at to actually paddle. So we're experienced paddlers, so it shouldn't be that bad. Coming back upstream is going to be quite a workout, but we got this. Today, I primarily will be using artificial. If I am struggling, 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 I will do some live bait. That's if we can find any, because it's pretty cloudy, as you can tell. The weather is supposed to brighten up, but we'll see how that goes. Anyways, got some new stuff I'm trying out today. We got a new GoPro angle here. It's going to be an angle for me fishing out of the kayak. So I'm going to try that. And I'm also going to try to get some underwater footage, trying some new things. I really, really want to see what I can do with this GoPro and see what kind of fish I can catch here on artificial. I hear some geese. Anyways. <coughs> This is one of my favorite streams and they're trying to build something here locally in this rural community that's going to impact it by jumping wastewater. So there is a petition you can sign. I'll put the link in the description of this video. Please sign it if you want to support wildlife, support keeping our waterways clean. Please go inside the sign the petition even if it doesn't directly impact your community. Please keep that in mind. Anyways, I look forward to seeing what I can get going today. Smallmouth player in the house today. He is trying to catch bait. Bait just likes to hide out deep when it's a little bit chilly and the sun is not out. They like to hide. But surely when the sun comes out, we can find them. They seem to be a little bit easier to find down. Well, actually, I think upstream from here. I think it gets harder to find them when we get downstream, especially with the current flow. As you can tell by him struggling. To walk, well, I can't say he's struggling, but as you can tell by the way he's walking through this current, it's pretty strong today. So, got quite an adventure ahead of us. Stay tuned. Stay tuned and join us on our adventure. Almost to fish town. This has been quite a paddling experience so far today. It's usually ripping through here, but it's ripping extra through here. Right here. <laughs> Be prepared to get a little wet. All right. There's someone fishing down in the mouth where we were headed to fish, so we've decided to stop and fish here. Gonna use this black and red slate Kelgramite. I haven't used one of these in forever. Fish, little fish, little fish. Holy crap, a pumpkin seed. <laughs> I got a little pumpkin seed. Hey, you're not gonna believe this. World's smallest fish in the house. All right, first fish of the day, a little pumpkin seed. Oh, he's so pretty. I love these fish. Oh, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fish. That's nice. Tell you what, these little fish are tearing up the telgramite. Missing, missing catches on camera. Little baby largy. He's a feisty little fish. He really wanted that. He really wanted it. He really wants it. Ah! Bye, little fishy. Fish number two, fish number two. Little fishy. Today is gonna be pretty much strictly artificial. They keep biting artificial. Oh, got one and he's 
Did he hit it? Oh, he hit it instantly. He hit it instantly. He feels bigger than my other fish. Good. Is that a rock bass? Holy s***. <laughs> no, that looks like a little smolly or something. I don't know. It is a little smolly. Smolly candy. How are my AKA smallmouth candy? They see it like us humans see a gummy worm or an ice cream cone. They love these things. Yay, I'm so happy to see you. Biggest fish of the day so far. Biggest fish of the day. Big fish in the house. He's not bad, he's not bad. He's like, okay, let's let him go. Bye, buddy. Bye. Oh, whoa. Ha. That fish was mean. They're mean. Here they are. These are Tournament Series Helgamite Bass Pro Shops brand. Another micro bass. Um, my, actually, no, he looks like a baby spot. Could be wrong. It's hard to tell when they're this small. All right, fish number four. Fishing kind of small today. Might be a baby large. He might be a baby spot. Hard to tell when they're this small. All right, I'm gonna go on and move up further. All right, I don't know why I keep cutting the camera on my fish, but finally leveled up in size on these spots using the same color on the Helgramite. Oh, he's so cute. That is a spot, right? Yeah. Yeah, they just, it's kind of hard to tell when they're that small, but yeah, because the fin is clearly attached. And then red eyes, some mean little turds. No, that that was that was that, that was fish. No, that was. Fish, fish, fish. Oh my gosh! You see how micro he is. Yep. Spot number four. This is the smallest one today. And he was literally trying to eat the Helgramite. Micro fishing. And they're feisty little things. It's a feisty little thing. Do a little dance. Do a little dance. <laughs> oh, they're so much fun. Ain't nothing wrong with a little micro fishing. I enjoy catching little fish. I feel like I'm cheating. This thing's like cheating. This has worked better than the green one. Uh -huh. Fish on. Uh -huh. I don't know what it is. It's fighting a little bit harder than that spot was. It is fighting a Might be a little bigger. It is. Oh! <laughs> oh, he's going crazy. He's like, why isn't this a real Helgramite? He's like, he's like, why isn't this a real Helgramite? <laughs> It's awful strong to be a Helga Mike. Oh, look at that. Yes, finally a decent fish on the bug snack. I, I'm very pleased with this fish. Alright. Oh hell yeah. Fish, yeah. Ooh, that's the biggest fish of the day. And he would he put on a show. Yeah, he did. And he was trying to swallow nice the buggy fish. snack. That's a good healthy looks like crease bomber. They want this. Highly recommend. Might not work in all bodies of water, but it's working in this one. Bass are here today. Got another little spot. Oh my 
Alright, we got the spotted bass. Uh, it's fish number eight. Um, this is the fifth spotted bass. Spotted bass are going crazy. He's missing. He's got a notch missing in his fin. Oh, poor little fishy fish. Alright, we'll see you later, buddy. <laughs> he did a little hopscotch or something. That was funny. Alright. They are loving this thing. Why haven't I been fishing this? number nine here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's, uh, that is a spider. That's bigger than the other ones we've been catching. It's cheap. Longer. That's probably a two-year-old fish. All right, fish number nine. Most of my fish have been spots today. I'm pretty sure that was a spot. It's kind of hard to tell because they're small, but it's so aggressive. He's been got me tangled. All right. Must be a tree or a rock. Got another species. This is my fourth species today. You got four. I got a smallmouth. A spot. Oh, he's a good one. No, oh, I'm so excited. Excited. Fish number 10. Wow, they're just tearing up that helgramite. And they're tearing up your brush hog. Oh, he was mean. Oh my gosh. He completely he annihilated the helgramite. Let me That's give him. It is. Um, that is the first fish to completely swallow it like that. Wow. Okay, that's fish number 11. Two smallmouth, one pumpkin seed, one rock bass, and the rest is through to the spots. A little spot again. Belly, big belly. Yep. Fish number 12, another spotted bass with a big old belly. It's a little pregnant fish. Yeah. Getting ready to lay eggs. They lay eggs young here. <laughs> Don't worry, you're probably the only safe fish in this creek right now. Little guy, but it's a fish. Again. Yep, it's our little Rocky. All right. Three Rockies today. Little Rocky, little Rocky, little Rocky. Right, fish number 14. Ah, he's doing the thing with his tail that they always do. <laughs> oh, these fish are so silly. He's like, let me go, let me go, let me go. I'm gonna let you go, I'm gonna let you go. Say goodbye. Fish number 15, a great majority of them have been these little boogers right here. Little spot, little spot. Uh, he's a mean little fish. All right, should have charged my GoPro batteries last night. I am out of GoPro battery. I record from my phone. Just caught this little guy. Sorry, I had to stop filming. We're running out of time. But I will film his release because he did several jumps. Crazy little fish. What's up, fishing family and friends? Thank you so much for checking out that vlog on that day. 
I actually used Helga mites on this stream for the very first time and I was amazed at how successful it was using those. So there have been a couple trips after that where I used Helga mites and had the same results. It is always great to find a stream where artificial actually performs because there are some streams where I have to use live bait because I cannot get fish to bite anything artificial. But I also fish a lot of streams that are clear and shallow which can make it harder to catch the fish on artificial because they can spook easily. So it's always exciting when I'm in a stream where I can actually catch fish using an artificial. It's just so satisfying. And it's actually become one of my favorite streams to fish. Anyways, I did put that link in the description. If you will please go and sign the petition and donate if you would like. Because there is a surf club trying to build 800 homes, a golf course, and a surf pool in a rural community that doesn't have the infrastructure to support that. Let alone, they're trying to dump their wastewater into this particular stream and we don't want that it is such a beautiful place and the last thing we want is the water to be polluted and the quality of fishing will decrease and not just that but it will just affect the ecosystem in general so please support even if it does not directly impact your community anyways i have taken several adventures after this and have gotten behind on editing. I look forward to sharing all of my adventures from this past spring and summer. I actually just got back from an awesome fishing trip today. I explored a new stream, but I'm still backed up on footage right now. I didn't have SD space for filming on my GoPro, so I actually didn't do any vlogging today. And I actually had a phenomenal fishing trip, so it would have been a great day to vlog. So of course, since I didn't have my GoPro, I got the best fishing experience but that's usually how it goes when I'm filming I don't seem to do as good as I do when I'm not filming it's so weird how it works like that it's like the universe knows when I'm filming but I did get a few clips and a lot of pictures that I will share with you guys this stream is awesome it is a waiting stream and it has a lot of slick rocks so it was like a fishing experience that i have never experienced before so i look forward to sharing the video clips and pictures with you all from today's adventure but i've got many more adventures coming up and a big trip coming in about two weeks where i get to fish a great big lake in michigan clear water sandy bottom it's gonna be fun i really hope to get some good fishing in then and some good vlog content for you all well anyways thank you so much for watching